absolutely and totally yes guys welcome back guys to my channel so what's gonna happen in this video is I'm going to scalp GBP USD just before the news okay uh, so at the end of the video I will give you an update regarding my auto trader for Forex so what's the current status so yes guys so first of all okay I am scalping GBP USD trade right here uh, let me show you uh, here is here is a trader on my MetaTrader 5 platform. Anybody, everybody has access to MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 for free from the broker that you have. Most brokers nowadays support MT4 and MT5. Uh, yeah, so here we go, guys. So this is a GBP USD short-term scalping trade. So in this video, I'm going to show you, share you, and demonstrate you why did I place. Uh, this uh, sale trade right now uh, and what's the purpose of it uh, so and so and why I am I'm, I'm why I want to scalp this before the news okay because as you can see the new USD news is gonna be released in 31 minutes okay uh, and in couple of those are three bull news which is initial job jobless claims as well as Fed manufacturing index okay for October so let's get started Hey, what's up guys? So stay tuned guys. Right, so uh, GBP USD. So first things first guys, first things first. If you're new to my channel, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel because I'm showing you the way I trade. You know, everybody has different trading preference, different trading style. Uh, I trade, uh, I am a pattern trader who takes into consideration the fundamental news. And the fundamental news, I mean, there will be the news being released in 30 minutes. It's for USD. So respectively speaking, as you know, nobody knows if these news, triple news, okay, is gonna be positive or negative. Nobody knows. If, if people knew, you know, uh, you know, people would be millionaires within a within couple of, you know, hours or I mean less than that. But uh, so, uh, so, uh, so in order not to lose money, okay, uh, I placed the GBP uh, USD sale trade because there was significant uh, downward movement for this particular pair. So again, first things first, what do we do? So, uh, thing number one, make like, sure that you look at the bigger time frames, okay? Bigger time frames, I mean four hour or a daily. So when I looked at the four hour, I simply, you know, I saw clearly that this is my, there are several resistance points, okay? I'm not talking about all time highs, okay, or lows. I'm talking about these resistance areas, okay? Which as you can see, there was a resistance right here, okay? Which was broken by this candle, clearly. And what does it mean? It means that, well, from this point forward, price went down. So, but uh, if you are a newbie, you may be wondering how you can find these pivot areas. Just use Fibonacci, free tool. Click here and click on FIB retracement. And how do we place it? We place it from the left to the right, okay? From the highest to the lowest point, and we will go, let it go at the last candle. So let's do it. So from the highest to the lowest, I'm not letting it go here at the lowest point, no. I'm letting, it, I'm letting it go at the lowest point, but at the last candle. The last candle was here. So and what do we clearly see? We clearly see what, what I just told you. The price broke this pivot area, okay? Meaning that the price is, 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 is heading south, okay? Uh, so, and then, you know, I simply, you know, what we do then is we look at smaller time frames just to make sure that we are, we are correct. And what we see here is that, yes, the price broke this pivot area, this pivot line on the Fibonacci, meaning price will go down. But now comes the question, okay, Andrew, we place sale trade, <clears throat> we are making profits, okay? As you know, I have signals group on Telegram, Everybody, every Academy member will get free access. But uh, there's, a, there's, a, okay, there's, the, there's a question, okay, uh, where should we exit the trade? We should exit always the trade, guys, for the sale, all sale trades. Your take profit level should be always a little bit above next support. Where is the next support? You don't need to be genius because we used Fibonacci retracement. Here it is, right? So we should definitely exit our trade above this, above this line, right? Uh, so this line is exactly at 1.28818. So I should exit it above that, you know, above this candle right here, around 1.28985. Let's take a look at a trade right now. Okay, now, so, okay, it's great, 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 great. I should, I should exit. Okay, so it's going my way nicely. So I'm making around six, I'm making over $600. This is a dollar account, by the way. Uh, I, as you know, I have dollar and uh, euro as well as GBP accounts, you know, depending on which, you know, uh, trading, um, 
it depends if you tra if I trade forex or if I play stock trades. So just may let me ex let me find the best exit for this trade. To, to find the best exit for this trade, I need to look at the smaller time frame. Okay. Let me just delete this ugliness. So let's just see where is the best exit. Okay, as you can see, here we go. The best exit is here. So the best exit for this sale trade would be uh, one point. Yeah, one point twenty nine one one two. In my case, okay, in my case, in this short term trade. Uh, to be very very specific, we can also take a look at one minute chart, guys. If you are a newbie, I would never suggest you to look at one minute chart. As you can see, one minute chart suggests me that the price actually is consolidating around one around 129.192 so I should exit a little bit higher than the five minute chart. The smaller time frame chart you look at, the more specific you can be, but guys don't look for the, uh, you know, don't look for the, you know, don't only use small time frames for the best exit. So here we go, so now price goes, so my best exit will be here, right now, because of this price pattern. Okay, so my, so I should exit right now. One, two, three, here we go. Nice. Let me take a look at that trade. So I was able to make six hundred and eighty-three dollars and forty-six cents uh, in. Uh, let me see, fourteen forty-five. Uh, fourteen forty-five and uh, fifteen oh four. So fifth, twenty minutes. In twenty minutes, I scalped GBP USD sale trade based on a pattern that we just looked at. In just 20 minutes, I was able to make, a, well, nothing significant, so around $700, $683.46. So why, why I'm using MetaTrader 5? Because I'm testing our AutoTrader, okay? I'm running tests, many, many tests, they're great. So I will update you that at the end of the video. But here we go, guys. So, uh, so this was my best exit. So I exited here, guys, because as you know, it's uh, you know it's best it's best to be safe rather than to be sorry but again you can find these trading opportunities by looking at larger time frames one daily and four hour placing your fibonacci retracement okay from the left to the right from the highest to the lowest point and let it go at the last candle and by placing the trade you know in that direction and then by exiting your your trade if it's a sell trade exit and take money above next support but if it's a buy trade take money and exit it a little bit below next resistance okay uh, and uh, so so the gbp usd showed me a significant you know a downward movement so now is the question you know should i left that trade running you know uh, during the news no it was gbp usd so british pound against usd dollar which <laughs> whatever happens in the news guys okay if the news are positive like really po but even though i don't see it happening but if the news will be positive for initial jobless claims okay like uh, that uh, you know uh, we will see we will see figure that you know the jobless claims has you know has, has went down it means it's, it's, it's great but uh, it's it's you know it means that i will make less money on my on my uh, gbp usd sell trade because gbp usd uh, so the GBP USD, you know, could could increase, you know, go up and then go down again. So regarding the news, guys, okay, make sure that if you are if you have a USD, for example, trades now, I would I would recommend you to close them at the best possible exit point before the news, okay? Because whatever happens, and if the news are positive for the USD dollar, of course, it's going to bring USD dollar uh, value up. Uh, you know, and it can go against the GBP, so it's gonna bring GBP dollar. Sorry, so if the news are positive for USD, it's gonna mean the GBP USD will go. Um, its GBP USD will go down. Okay, if the news are negative for the USD, it means GBP USD uh, will go up. Okay, but there's the thing, nobody knows what what will be the, those news releases. What the news releases are here, guys. Uh, so positive news release, you know, is 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 in a, is in. A, is in the green a negative news release is in the red you know you can go into them this is by the way investing.com and where in the way you can use it simply click here on news and click on economic calendar you know uh, and you'll be able to see these news during the day and as you know guys we never we, we, we don't want to trade during 
any treble news. So the USD treble news, it means in 20 minutes, I don't want to have any USD or open trade. Because whichever, you know, whatever happens in news is going to be impacted. It's going to impact USD currency. What else is going to be impacted? Gold, silver, strong commodities, oil. I mean, there's just so much you can trade, okay? By simply reading USD news. And this is so significant. Why? Because guys, says if you like it, you like it or not, USD is the leading currency, right? USD and gold. You know, they all go vice versa and it's so, so, so significant, so great that, you know, once you understand the concept, uh, you know, how USD is interacting with other currencies, it's gonna, you know, it can open your mind up and then you're gonna see that there are many, many training opportunities every single day during the day. Uh, yeah, that's why, you know, I made the videos about correlations between Forex currency pairs. Yes, guys, so thank you guys for watching this video. Let me just go back to this trade again. So, yeah, so around $700, not, not, not bad, not bad. And uh, now news will be released, so I exited my trade a little bit earlier. I would advise you to do that as well. So guys, regarding the auto trader, guys, there is a little bit of delays, okay? There's a little bit of delays. The bot is ready, but there, there are last finishing, touch, finishing touches being done by the developers, okay? As you know, there are many people working on this uh, auto trader, which is which is gonna be an auto trader, which is which we will release really, really soon, really soon. And this auto trader, guys, is actually for the, for the MetaTrader 5 platform, okay, as well as MetaTrader 4 platform. Uh, and we basically, what it will, what will it do? It will basically open trades for you. It will look for look for the trades. It will open trades. It will post trades. It will place stop loss, take profit levels. And the most beautiful thing about it is that this is not going to be any repaint. It's going to be it's going to be completely unique, made from scratch. Um, the bot itself. But the beautiful thing about this bot is that you will be able to optimize it. Okay. As you know, every single day markets are changing and markets are different. So every single day, for those people to to have the best results, you will be you know you will be able to run the uh, the optimization optimization back test on a daily basis. And after it, it will take just a couple of minutes to run the back test. And every back test, the bot will tell you what uh, what uh, figures to set in the bot settings. And those bot settings you copy. Paste, and uh, every single day, if you do that for every, for particular currency pairs, you will have the optimized results. You know, so that's why this is this is a unique auto trader which you're gonna see shortly in the next uh, next days. So guys, sorry, but there is a little bit of delay. I you know, guys, you you know, I, you were waiting for this for a long time, but there is delay because we want to, this to be the best with no issues, no problems. Okay, um, yeah, and I mean so. Give us, give us a little bit, a little bit more time, guys. It's, it's nearly there. It's nearly ready, guys. For you. it's ready for you already. But they're, 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 they're just doing last finishing touches, okay? If you seen the, if you seen the, you know, the whole, the, the whole code of the bot, it's crazy, okay? Um, but it's, it's, a, it's significant, but and you will be surprised in a good way. Furthermore, guys, I would highly recommend you to visit my website, which is andrewstradingchannel.com and get your free ebooks. Yes, you know, simply go to my website and you will see two free ebooks from me to you guys, which you can download on your mobile devices or on your computers uh, by simply visiting and clicking here, free download. And also, guys, there are a couple of links here, link to my free Telegram channel. And as you know, guys, every single Academy member, you know, will get access to my Telegram group where we send signals. We send about five to 12 highly high quality Forex signals every single day from Monday to Friday. So if this is something you're interested to, you know, you're welcome to join my Academy. But yeah, guys, but, but, but still, guys, get your free ebook, you know, which, you know, which could, you know, highly help you, you know, in your trading journey, you know, about uh, uh, swing trading and about price action. Here we, here we go, guys. Simply visit my website and get the free stuff from me to you. Yeah, guys, so thank you guys for watching this video. Please, please like and subscribe. Share my channel to your friends, family, beloved ones. Share my channel to anybody who is willing to become a successful online trader from home. Yeah, guys, thank you. I love you all and see you again next time. Bye-bye.